We're back at home and playing in the snow. Playing host to Schalke in match day 12 of Bundesliga action. We're riding a bit of a hot streak, undefeated in our last four games, three of them coming out as wins. But we've got a tough opponent coming into town, and we've got to keep this hot streak going here on Total FIFA Career Mode. Welcome back to Total FIFA Career Mode. This is episode E11 of Werder Bremen Retake the Bundesliga. As we get underway here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. You can also follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM and on Instagram at TotalFIFACareerMode and of course on our website TotalFIFACareerMode.com. We're going to be sticking with what works with this 3-4-2-1 formation. It's been great for us recently. And uh, you can see we're going to give Jeremy Doku his first start in that right attacking uh, position. Uh, it, it, it's a reward for him scoring his first goal last game. Let's reset this season and see where we are at uh, you know, 11 games into the season. You can see we started off a little inconsistent. And then we've started to pick up recently with a win, a draw, a win, and a draw in our last four games. So we're avoiding the loss column, which is good. And that puts us at 5-2-4 and four in Bundesliga action this season. Good for ninth place and 17 points. So not amazing, but you know, we're, we're holding our own. You can see we've really had a lot of luck since we switched to this 3-4-2-1 formation. These are the three formations we've used the most. We, we were using the 4-3-3 holding. Uh, you know, formation early in the season and the 5-3-2 we used a lot of and they were working all right but you can see we're getting more shots and more shots per goal uh, per 90 minutes with this formation than either of our other two formations so this is what we're going to stick with for the time being we've got a couple different variations we can use depending on our personnel if we want to have more offensive players more defensive players because guys like Weston McKinney can play in the attacking role can play defensive mid uh, you know, so we've got a lot of options there with the personnel, but the formation itself has really worked well for us, so we're going to stick with what's working. Now what's not worked so far has been our ability to get out to an early lead or even just to play a, uh, an even match for more than about 10 minutes. We have given up a lot of early goals. If you've watched any of our videos, you, you've seen that trend. And so it would be really nice if we could not put ourselves in a one nothing hole in the first, you know, 5-10 minutes of this match for a change. We've gotten away with it lately, but, you know, it's really not a good way to go about your business. Of course, neither is getting beat on the outside and giving up long crosses back to the goalkeeper, and... Is that in? It is! Is that an own goal? It's an early goal. It's exactly what we're trying to avoid. We need to see a closer replay of this. It, the long cross came in, it looked like, uh, I think it was Bada Shiel, got a foot on it, to the defender, and into the goal, just barely a goal as Simakan tries to save it, ends up kicking it off the goal post. What a disaster of a start, as Schalke gets out to an early lead, something we have spotted half the damn Bundesliga at this point. The cross came in, my defender gets a boot on it, kicks it back to Maximiano in goal. He looks to try and clear it, but the, the offensive player gets a boot on it. Simican tries to save it, unable, and, you know, sure as shit, we're down one nothing again. So we're playing from behind. Nothing new for us, something we've done all along. Uh, you know, don't like doing it, but we'll do what we have to. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get some attack going here and... And as we see them on the attack again, uh, we had one decent look, it got stopped, and a long fire, oh my god, off the post! 
off the post from, was that 30 yards out? That was unbelievably close. Another attack by Schalke, they're just bombarding us early on. Point blank range, Max Miano able to save it. Schalke just on the attack in these first 10-12 minutes, relentless. We've been unable to get anything going as we try to get something going here. Doku, point blank, blocked! A decent look. You know, Doku's not great with his footwork, he's not a great finisher, he's young, he's unrefined. You know, he's at his best when he can get a full head of steam going, he's tough to tough to keep in front of you, but that's, you know, in, in close quarters like that is not where he thrives yet. 17 minutes in, on the attack, out to Vindal, up ahead to Phil Foden, now he's got a head of steam, nobody in front of him, looking to cross it in front, has a man, oh what a save by the defender. What a block, a sliding block in the snow. That was probably our best look yet. Really, despite you see that possession, 56 to 44, we haven't formulated much of an attack as another long curving shot comes in. Unbelievable, another post. This could be 3 nothing. Those were two unbelievable shots that I would have been furious at giving up. And both of them were much closer than I would have liked. A little touch pass up ahead to Doku. This is where he's dangerous. Has a head of steam. Looks to cross. And there's Francisco Trincao. Filling up the middle as he's so good at doing. He has been absolutely on fire of late. Fills that middle space in the box so well. So good at finding the open space. And you can see... The Doku just able to find him there, and it's it's just an easy finish. Let's see the run. You can see how far Trincao comes from, and he's able to beat the defender because he's got a full head of steam. You can see by the time the defender picks up where he's going, it's just too late. Uh, Trincao is a full head of steam, and he's just barreling down. He's able to beat him to the spot, and that's seven goals on the season, and he has really, really come on strong of late, and that's seven just in the Bundesliga. Uh, he's been a, he's been so good since we moved to the striker position in this uh, in this uh, three four two one formation. But unrelentless! Oh, volley up and then off the face of Bada Shield. Schalke not gonna go quietly uh, to the end of the first half. Another touch pass. Where we're coming up on the end of the first half. It would be nice to. Uh, get out of here in a 1-1 one -one draw and not do anything stupid. But sure enough, as I say it, a turnover deep in our own zone, uh, a little pass to the middle, and a nice finish. And it's 2-1 to -one Schalke as we near the end of the first half. Exactly what we're trying not to do, which is just go into halftime down a goal. You can see the turnover, a nice easy shot. And, uh, and here we go. Now, I'd like to tell you, I'd li I, I, I would love to tell you, that this is how we're gonna go into the half. But it's about to get real, folks. Hold on to your damn seatbelts. You're in for a wild ride here in the last couple minutes of the, of the first half. So here we go. And I don't even need to edit this. I'm just gonna play this out for you. 43 minutes left. You know, hoping to go in 2-1. You know, not do any more damage, but Oh, pass ahead. Doku, with some space, got some speed. Nobody marking him. Up ahead to McKinney. He's got a man cutting. There's Vindal. And we immediately tie the game. It took less than a minute of game time. It took about 15 seconds of real time. We see the opening. Vindal cutting from a mile away. He's not even on the damn screen. And a wide open goal to finish. Now that's his first goal of the season. And we get to tie it up 2-2. So they get a late goal, what feels like a late goal. We get another one about a minute later to tie it back up. And, you know, instead of going in tied at 1-1, maybe now we can go in tied 2-2. Maybe. Maybe. Can we? Will we? Oh, we're not done. Hold on to your damn hats. We are not done. We're in stoppage time. Let's just play it out. Let's go in down 2-2, or tied 2-2, right? Why not? No. Let's just beat our defender who's playing some horse shit defense. What's happening here? Cross in. Punched out. Ball doesn't even hit the ground. Turns. Fires. Back of the net. That ball didn't even hit the damn ground. 
What the hell is going on around here? What is happening? Three goals in the final five minutes and change of the first half. This one doesn't even hit the ground. Look at him. Coming right footed. He's going to go invert outside part of the foot. And just peel this off. Maximiano is just sitting there frozen. And the, the first half concludes wildly. Wildly. I promise. That's it. I promise. That's the end. There's, there's no more surprises coming. But we're going to go into the half. What I thought was hoping to be 1-1 one, one is now going to be 3-2 in the last five minutes of utter chaos at the end of the first half. Just complete nonsense. See, after that late first half flurry, you can see it's actually been a somewhat one-sided game. You know, we've got the possession, but they're out shooting us three to one. Uh, you know, out tackling us by crazy amounts. So, uh, you know, it really has not been all that even. I feel like they've had more chances. They've definitely had more chances, and they've dominated us a, a, a little bit. And we were able to to sneak a couple goals in there at the end of the first half, and gave another one up. And you know, here we are, three two, as we as we get into the second half here. Uh, now, uh, thankfully for, for all, all of, our, of our hearts here, uh, the second half is not nearly as action-packed as the first half. Um, here we got an offensive attack here, 67th minute, coming up trying to make something happen, can't quite get it back in front. And this is kind of the story of the second half, creating chances but unable to convert as we continue to have this 3-2 uh, deficit we've got to make up. Schalke really changing their uh, their, their mentality here, not quite as much on the attack now with this lead. Still getting off some decent shots, a couple of shots there, and uh, a good save, and then a, uh, I believe a deflection from the defender from a point blank rebound. Yep, there it is. Gets his ass into it, uh, you know, to, to, to make a save, but you know, they're just not quite as much on the attack here in the second half as we get Foden up on the attack, ahead to Weston McKinney. He's got, does he have a guy? Tries to pass back to Foden, fires, a good shot. But a uh, decent save and unable to get a rebound. The rebound there would have been uh, would have been the chance. So we gotta make a move. Jeremy Doku's getting tired, he can't play a full game. We're gonna give Josh Sargent a try. We'll uh, slide uh, Trincao back to that right attacking mid position and uh, see if Sargent, who has not been very good for us, can, uh, can give us a little spark in that striker position. See if he can't regain some traction. Cross in. Oh, a great look. A great look for what would have sealed it. For what would have sealed it. Just, it's a tough angle. It's a tough angle. And it's just offline. 89th minute. Another cross coming in. Terrible cross. And it's actually going to lead to a counter for us. Trincao. Up ahead to Phil Foden. Into stoppage time now. Pauses. Up ahead. Back to Trincao, who's making a long run here. He's got a sprinting sergeant over the middle, point blank range, and he finds the back of the net. Josh Sergeant coming on in the second half late as a sub and redeems himself for what has been a terrible start to the season for Josh Sargent. And he's, for all intents and purposes, been benched and lost his spot to Francisco Trincao. But he's able to come on as a sub and gets a huge goal. A huge goal to seal this at 3-3 and get us a point in what seemed to be a, 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 just a definite loss. Unable to do anything in this second half. But Josh Sargent able to hopefully seal the deal for us by getting ahead of myself as we get into stoppage time. That's got to be it. Get the turnover. There it is. We're able to get out of here with a point. You can see this may have had an even score, but it was a, a, not a particularly even game. You know, we, we won the possession battle as we're known to do, but they dominated the offensive attack and the amount of chances. I mean, two to one and the tackles, they really just played an incredible pressure defense and took the ball from us almost at will. So I feel myself uh, lucky to get out of here in, uh, you know, with, with a point. As we wrap this up, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM, on Instagram at TotalFIFACareerMode, check out our website at TotalFIFACareerMode.com. And if you've made it this far and haven't hit subscribe, 
Go ahead and do that for us now. This is episode 11 of Werder Bremen Retake the Bundesliga here on Total FIFA. Career mode.